Hey, my name's Chris, and I'm going to show you how to measure a pressure transducer with an NI data acquisition device and LabVIEW. So most pressure transducers are strain gauge based. So actually in the inner diaphragm, there are tiny strain gauges whose resistance change proportionally to the amount of pressure applied. So there's a couple things you're going to need to measure a pressure transducer. First, you're going to need to provide it with an excitation voltage. And secondly, since the sensor actually outputs a signal in the millivolt range, you're going to need some sort of signal conditioning to amplify the signal. And lastly, you're going to need a data acquisition device to measure the signal. So in this case, we're going to be using an NIC series module that's designed for measuring pressure transducers. And it provides the excitation voltage, the signal conditioning, and the data acquisition on this one module. And so I'm going to go ahead and plug up the module to this USB sleeve here and it's connected back to the computer through USB. And then I can connect the, the transducer here to channel zero. And now I'm gonna go over to the computer and open up LabVIEW and create a new VI. So on the block diagram, we're gonna right click, go to input and go to DAC Assistant. And the DAC Assistant is a step-by-step -step wizard that allows me to quickly configure my measurements. We're gonna be acquiring a signal and on an analog input channel. And so we can scroll down and go to pressure and then click OK. And we've connected the sensor to analog input zero. So we'll hit click that and hit finish. And now there's a couple more settings we need to configure. We can um, change the minimum and maximum input range. We can also select the, the units. And then we also can uh, configure our scale. So most pressure transducers ship with a calibration certificate. So I'm actually going to input some values uh, off of that certificate. So a two-point scale, so 0.15 for my first value and 0.14 for my second value. And then uh, for the PSI, it's going to be 0 and negative 5. So we'll hit OK. And then we're going to leave the bridge type as full bridge. It's a full bridge sensor. And then since the module has built-in excitation, we're going to leave it as internal excitation. But we're actually going to change the excitation value to 10 volts. And then the last thing we're going to do is change the acquisition mode from in samples to continuous samples. That way we can continually acquire a measurement. So when I hit OK, uh, the DAC assistant is actually going to prompt me and ask me if I want to place a while loop around the DAC assistant. So we'll hit yes. And then the last thing we need to do is add a graph to our front panel. So we're going to right click, go to graph indicator and select graph. And now we can wire the, that terminal from the, the waveform graph from the output of the DAC assistant. And then also if we want to add other types of indicators, I can uh, right click the front panel and go to numeric indicator and I can add uh, a gauge as well. So we'll place that there and we'll change the, the scaling on the gauge to be from uh, 0 to negative 100. And now I'm going to wire up that gauge as well to the output of the DAC assistant. And so now I'm going to hit run and now we can, we can see our measurement and I've actually got a, a pump here and you can see that when I start pumping we can see the signal change there on the screen. And so that's how you measure a pressure transducer with an NI data acquisition device and LabVIEW.